Hey, good morning. Well, it's beautiful, it's sunny. It's not warm, warm, but it's a lot better than what we've been getting. And we are finally spraying. Daryl, uh, Daryl's been out spraying this morning. And uh, I'm gonna go bring him some more chemicals, see how he's been making out. Oh, it looks like Daryl's finished this. This is the last uh, 240, our last bean field. And it's some really bad wild oat issues. It always does on this end. And it looks like he's done spraying. He's just heading over. And he's gonna be doing some of the weed. We, uh, we got a quarter and an 80 over here that uh, of wheat that's pretty dirty too. And uh, that's probably him calling right now. So. Okay, so I've been doing some spraying here. Did some beans this morning. And I'm gonna start doing some wheat. And I was all loaded up and ready to go when Kendall showed up. But what I'm finding is, because of the spring we've had, our weeds are getting bloody out of control. Makes one question whether we know what we're doing farming, but anyway, so phone Cody from Sure Grow, and uh, he is suggesting we add a bit of a heater to heat this stuff up twofold. We're not hot, and uh, the weeds are big, so I'm a little worried it might stunt the weed even more. But the wheat crop for the most part looks good, but so do the weed crop. The weed crop looks way too good, so we gotta make sure them suckers die. So, right now, took an extra half hour here to go get a couple more jugs. We're adding a bit of MCPA. Just taking it through a walkthrough here a bit. Because I had this loaded already, I didn't do this the proper way, but what I did do is, I uh, just poured the, what did I put in there? A couple of 12 liters uh, into this tank, and that's gonna do me 120 acres. So, and as you can see, she's moving pretty good. So I'll give it a couple of minutes to mix up and we should be good to go. Well, I'm just busy spraying here. I just figured I'd take a bit of a chance talk to the folks where things are at. We haven't, I haven't been super active on here the last little bit, but the, um, we've been busy, I don't know, fighting weather is the right word or what the right word is, but uh, I guess farmers, that's what we do is we're constantly battling against weather, so that shouldn't be a surprise, but um, there's some weird stuff this year, like, uh, when I went to get this chemical, and this doesn't affect us, so to be perfectly honest, I'm not complaining. It just tells you some of the weirdness that's going on, but basically from the field that I am on, north, I drove uh, about 10 miles to get the chemical, and in that journey of that 10 miles, I'm fairly certain it would be safe to say that for every field that was seeded, there was probably at least one, maybe even two, that was not seeded. And, you know, okay, if we're beginning of May, not ideal or whatever, probably not even necessarily uncommon, but we are now well into June, and I'm distracted, so now I gotta back up. That's just funny. Apparently I can't talk and drive at the same time, so for all those advocates that texting and driving doesn't work, I guess talking and driving doesn't work either. Yeah, we now we're going. Oh, what happened? Really did it. No, my phone mailed the off button, so I've got to go do it again. See, so you get funny looking stuff like that if you aren't paying attention. Luckily I have this button, which will allow me to overlap, and then we'll be gold. As we get going in this field though, like this, the great 
here, there's a dark spot. Chances are I'm going to leave a bit of a rut. And if we leave behind a linear... Oh, not even bad. But we're going to see some spots in this field as we get going. There's actually water in this field. So, am I going to leave ruts? Yep. Am I going to make a mess? Yep. But these weeds need to die. So, there is no choice. We must go. We have a day where the wind is somewhat favorable. And, um... Trying to get some fields knocked off before it gets ugly on us again. So. Okay, so Kendall's coming. Just loading up with another shot of water for me. Um, and then I can finish up here, but I did not have enough, so he had to go get some. Anyway, while I'm waiting, it shouldn't be too terrible long, I'm gonna go for a quick drive because I got 40 acres left on this quarter. And then I got another 80 acres just across the road. And why I'm going for a drive is pretty simple. I'm coming up to a pretty good water hole. And if perchance the next 80 does not have that, I may actually go do that field first and just get myself emptier before I hit that water hole. Not that I'm worried about getting stuck as much. More a matter of heavier I am, the bigger the ruts I'm gonna leave, so. And let's be face it, it is just easier on the machinery too, so that's what my logic is. So anyway, I'm gonna go for a drive here and we'll see what we find. Okay, so my field's got a little bit of soft spots in two corners, so I'm just gonna finish up the field that I'm on. But what I did want to check, because there's a bit of a wind, came to the neighbor's field, and I wanted to check. I didn't at first think this field was even seeded, but I'll show you what I found. This field is obviously in wheat last year, and I'm finding soybeans. So I'm thinking he must have seeded soybeans here. Just hoping. Oh, there's one. So there is. So I'm going to have to be careful and probably leave a bit of a buffer. There's another one, and another one. So yeah, the beans are starting to come up. So. I will have to leave, you can see, I don't know if you can see the green boundary there, but I will have to leave a bit of a strip there, I think. Actually, the wind is coming kind of like this, so it's actually going from the northwest, so that's actually in my favor. And the stuff on the east side, I don't know if you can see it, but I got uh, one of the neighboring colonies here has got one tractor pulling harrows trying to dry the field out. And on the far side, they got an air seeder going, trying to seed it. So guys are in desperation mode. They're doing whatever they can to get whatever in that they can. So just another crazy day in Manitoba. Yes, I would like to resume tank. Okay, we're back full. I'm just finished. Finished uh, putting my MCJ in on a boat for a walk. MCB is in there and uh, it's mixing, but I don't get it. I gotta phone the chemical rep. These weeds are supposed to be dead. Like what the heck? Oh yeah, it's been an hour and a half. Funny part is, I say that, some of these guys are actually kinking over. That one's kinked. Yeah, okay, that was a fluke thing. There's no way these weeds could be feeling the effects of that yet. So I was just being a twit. But then I thought it was gonna backfire on me. That would've been funny. Cause then that would be like super chemical working in one hour. Okay, I'll give it a couple more minutes. Like you see here though, you're not sure sometimes whether you're in a wheat field with nice wheat. Or in a weed patch. Weed patch with all kinds of weeds. Disgusting. And we have 120 done, 158 total. Plus we got an 80 acre mile.
minus that yard. So 38 roughly and 75. Okay, so we're coming up to the watering hole, but it looks like I might actually get fortunate enough to not hit the middle of it, which that would be like never happens. Usually we end up right down the middle, but we'll see how this goes. So again, so far this field has been surprising me. Um, because there's spots where it's not even crusted and I'm not having a whole lot of trouble. sure I'm gonna have mud in the back so I'm just gonna I can see them and they didn't have mud at them so so the ones behind the tires that are ones behind the tires are always the worst this is one of those things that's always trickier than what it lets on to believe and I'm really not sure what I'm doing trying to do this well I'm doing it by taping but getting as close to those hydro poles without hitting them when you're 66 feet away luckily these booms have got breakaway booms on them so that if you hit them they uh you don't break them oh missed it again Woohoo! everyone you kind of like a mini heart stoppage and then nope we're good until you hit them then it's like oh better but i think we're gonna be good all the way in yep Perfect. I wish you guys could see this because you probably can't, but I can. And it's reminding me that this is one of the fields that Kendall must have done the uh, day we were having all those solar flares because I'm not used to such crooked roads. So as much as we think we can drive straight, Man cannot drive as straight as the computer. 
maybe we're just out of practice too, which won't help. But uh, you know, there's, there's some pretty good little squiggles in here. As long as it doesn't have any gaps or messes, that's the main thing. But there's definitely some wiggles. As a whole, this field is looking much better. I don't see the same holes in this one. It's fairly green throughout. There was a couple soft spots in each corner. Other than that, it's been fairly nice and uniform. So that's nice to see. Okay, we got done with zero gallons left, which is nice. Wind is a little breezier than I would have cared to end with, but it was going in the direction away from the neighbor's field. Well, it's going to one neighbor's, but uh, they literally just finished seeding that field, so that one doesn't worry me. Um, but the bean field, it was going away from that, so that's good. And so we should be good to go, and, and I'd add headlands and stuff done to the other neighbor uh, before anyway, so all should have been good, and uh, we say we got done here just in the nick of time. So that's good. We're going to move the sprayer now to another year or two, back to my yard, I think. And we'll see where the next job is after that. I'll probably have to do some scouting after lunch.